Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bungle Collects. I'm going to be going through 250 pounds worth of lovely 50 pences and try and find the ones that are worth more than the 50 pences printed on them, the rare and valuable ones, and hopefully ones that will help me fill up my album because I'm trying to find every single 50p and two pound that you can possibly find in circulation. So this is my book. On this page, I still need Kew Gardens. I need quite a few Olympics, four on that page, almost everything on that page. And, uh, well, pretty much almost all the Olympics is needed on that page. But other than that, I'm doing all right, apart from this elusive Team GB. Mintage is, you know, not quite 7 million, and I've not been able to find that, even though I've found loads and loads of other rare and valuable ones. Still need that Platinum Jubilee as well. A few oddities in the uh, in the back there. Oh, and that's where I am with my £2 coins. So, here off Cash Centre, dated the 6th of April 2022 so at the time of filming this bag is about three about three weeks old I think you know what I'm gonna have a count of these in honor of Mac and Moolah coins and to coin a phrase who always count their coins I'm gonna count these bags to make sure there's 25 one two three yep there's 25 <laughs> right let's get dug into this first bag and see what we can find Oh, I've got some posts to open as well. I, uh, I've had it a little while, so I must. Uh, oh, I just ripped that open there. I didn't try and find the the joint. In the, you know, the, oh, what a start! I didn't try and find the the seam and then open it up. I just hulked it open. But anyhow, right there is suffragettes. That is a cracking find. So value. It's not an amazing condition, and obviously it's been in circulation for nearly twenty years. But value wise, what are we talking there? I'd I'd pay three pound for that. I'd pay three pound for that suffragettes. Only uh, three. This is something like three point one million, I think, in circulation. So we're getting scarcer and scarcer all the time. This one, however, will never be scarce because there's nearly twenty million of Peter Rabbit in circulation, and he'll only ever be worth fifty pence, especially in circulated condition. Along with this one, which is the dictionaries, and there's seventeen million, I think, dictionaries. Can't remember off the top of my head. I'm slipping a little bit in terms of what I can remember. So, I there's another dictionary, but that one is not in very nice condition at all. That is very, very grotty, as my good friend from Point to Collect would say. He likes the term grotty. He also counts the bags, as does Darren from Caledonian Coins. So a big shout out to all you bag counters out there. Ah, interesting. Right, right, right. So this will be the first. Be a little bit out of sequence. You'll see other coin hunts that Lady M and I will have filmed. But this is my first solo 50p hunt since it was found that a Brexit with the wrong date on the bottom. So that's the 31st of January 2020, which was the actual day that we left the EU in the UK. But they did have two previous dates where they were going to leave in 2019. And the Mint had them printed ready or stamped minted ready um, but it didn't happen for whatever reason so them coins were melted down and remade however one has been found in the Sheffield area with a 2019 day on it so that is the now the one to look out for that is now the new holy grail no one knows exactly how many were originally minted no one knows I assume does anyone know for definite other than the Royal Mint, whether they were all supposed to be melted back down. Were some, I don't know, were some, who knows? Who knows how we got out there? But we have a reliable source or a self-proclaimed reliable source. That is uh, Scouts in the coin tuberverse, in the coin collecting community. That did, has confirmed that the one that was found was genuine. So keep your eye out for that because I don't know how many there's going to be. I reckon there's going to be like an absolute handful and I'd pay a fortune for it. I, I honestly would, I, I would, whew, what would I pay realistically? I've got to say I'd pay 100 quid, but would I actually pay 100 pounds? Do you know what? I think I probably would. That is a Commonwealth game. So shout out to Pocket Point when we find a Scouts or a uh, Girl Guide. It always reminds me, reminds me of my friend Pocket of Point and uh, Commonwealth games there. Actually, always reminds me of Darren from Caledonian Coins. For some reason. Don't think I've ever said that out loud. And you won't know. I don't think he really watches. He's a busy guy. 
got his own things to do. But uh, yeah, it does, it does remind me. Just like dictionaries reminds me of Trev. Just like Paddington at the Cathedral or Tower reminds me of Christopher. These things that pop into my mind. I don't normally verbalise them. Although, to be fair, I pretty much verbalise everything else. <laughs> so yes, keep an eye out for your Brexit. The exit from the European Union coin. And look for that date. So the one that had 2019 on the Queen side, on the obverse. And it had... Um, October, I think it was October 2019 on the reverse instead of January 2020. That one there was diversity, plenty of them, over 10 million of them circulated. Value wise, it's got to be face value, hasn't it? Would someone maybe pay a pound if it was in a really nice condition? Yeah, maybe. If you wanted it for your collection and you weren't coin hunting like like this, getting bags out of the uh, banks and post offices. There's another one. Super common, told you that. Told you. But yeah, no, the suffragette is the coin of the hunt so far. First bag, first coin. We're doing all right. Christopher Einside. Seven million of him minted. What I'm going to do as well is I will open two items of post to open that someone has kindly sent into the PO box. And I'm going to open them when I find a stonker of a coin. So a plum find. I'm going to show you the one. I'm going to show you when I find it. And then I'm going to go and show you what mail I've got. That's the plan. Ah, Mr. Benjamin of the Bunny. Oops. So I'm going to have a competition. Do play along. You guys that are watching... Along, put in the comments how many Benjamin Bullies do you think I'm going to find in this hunt? And I'm going to say I'm going to find three. That is the first of three. So put a guess in. Or let me, or don't put a guess in and have a guess now. And then tell me in the comments whether you were close or not. Or whether I beat you. Oh, we've got a 2011. Repeat, we've got a 2011. Point at the top. So it's definitely going to be an Olympic. If it was a shield, it would have a flat top. So I'm going to leave that there. I'll finish this bag off and I'm going to have a little feel of the other side to see if I can guess what it is. There's another Brexit. The correct date. Yeah, I think of all the Brexits that I've found over the, what, two years. There's a Paddington at the cathedral. All the Brexits. I've got some in sealed bags as well. I'll have to dig them out of storage next time I am that way on. And have a look and just have a little peek at the date. Right, let's have a look. So I'm wanting to be purple, like a lot flat. Because football is flat. I'm just going to go a little bit of raise on a football little square because that's the one that that's the one i'm seeking um so it's got a little bit of a design on it not much on this side a little bit more in the middle so it doesn't have a lot it's not a particularly big uh, big design i don't think it's a fighty one doesn't seem to have the people on it doesn't seem to have hockey doesn't seem to have a person could it be sailing maybe sailing don't know ah it is wheelchair rugby nice that is nice, yeah. I so thought that, yeah, it was one, one big person. I'm feeling all that flat. I didn't. Oh, should have done. I should have. Ah, it's, you can't really feel the ridges. No. It's got to be that one. I do it that way and feel them. But that way, I absolutely can't. How strange. Right, do I need wheelchair rugby? Let me have a quick look in the book. Quick look in the book. Do I need wheelchair rugby? Come on, come on. One for the book. I 
this one. So that means it's time for mail. It's mail time. It's mail time. So I've got two uh, things to open. This is this one that's got a little bit chewed, a little bit chewed on. But if you'd like to write to us, Bungle Collects, P.O. Box 1077, Stockton on Tees, TS191ZA. That is not a very clear way of reading it. But if uh, it's always in the description below, if you want to write to us, send us a letter, a postcard. And if you want to send us free stuff, then by all means, send it, I don't mind. To Bungle and Lady M, I've been watching your videos for over two years, thank you very much, and I just wanted to say you're so funny, thank you. Presumably you mean me, not Lady M. Anyway, I've watched the full video of your complete collection and I noticed that you, you need a couple of Olympic postcards, or you had a couple of Olympic postcards, this is true. Uh, I do like Olympic tat that is for sure uh, as i don't collect them here's a couple that i have had for a few years see it does exist lol <laughs> please keep the good work you sincerely rich swift p.s i know you like an olympic tat and free stuff so here you are absolutely rich so rich is a yes he has, has been watching for a while i do you do you do regularly enough put something in the comments as well so do appreciate your support rich and if you're going to send me postcards of uh, of stamps with the Olympics on, then you are very, very welcome. And you can do that any time that you like. Oh no, I think I've left a handprint. Oh, don't bugger. Never mind. Issued by the Royal Mail on 27th July 20, 2010. So there it came out. So yeah, I've got a call. I've got basketball. I think Angela sent me. I've got another one. I can't remember what the other one is. So cycling and football. So thank you. They will definitely go on the wall on the Magic Studio shelf. That is absolute. They are absolutely superb. Thank you so much, Rich. Really appreciate it. Right, here's another one. Oh, there's that's a little bit easier to read the address there if you want to send us something. So let's have a look. I suppose that's the downside to doing it mid-coin hunt. I was in mid-coin just there. Mid-coin mid hunt because my, I've got Christopher Collect's finger. Okay, so I'll get thing, things dirty. Right, okay, golden syrup. And, and raspberry, so someone likes the porridge. Bungle, for your collection, love the collection video from UK Coin Mad. So UK Coin Mad, so thank you very much for sending us stuff. I know you have sent us a couple of things before. I think you appreciated the, the little plugs I give you in uh, in, in the videos. And uh, I don't know whether, were you, a, were you a fan before? Had you even, had you heard of us until uh, until I bought something off you? I don't know, I think I, I'm not sure whether you did. Do tell us. Um, but yeah, I remember I found you on TikTok. And I've bought a few things off you, and I've bought a few things off you since, coin-wise. And you've been very enough, kind enough to send us some free stuff. So thank you very much. Nice. What have we got here? We've got, we've got a quid. So, oh, that's a nice condition. Yeah, the man. There we go. So I'm assuming that UK Coin Mad is selling these at the minute. We've got maybe plenty of these in. So a little bit of a showcase. I've always found the um, Laura. I believe it's Laura. I assume you call Laura because that's your, your email starts with Laura, I think. But anyway, I don't really know. Anyway, Laura, if it is you, um, I'm assuming you'll have these for sale. And I've always found that um, the um, UK Coin Mad's prices are pretty reasonable. Um, that's why I bought some. So considering I obviously go through coins myself, I've bought some. So, yeah, go and check out UK Coin Mad, www.ukcoinmad.co.uk. And check out the, the prices. And I know you get free delivery as well if you spend over £20. So it's worth taking advantage of that if you can. One thing, I don't know whether it comes to the top of the Google searches. Because I know I found I struggle to find it when I type that in. It doesn't come to the top of the searches because I think it's a relatively new company. Um, so Google doesn't put you to the top. So do have a do put that full address in. Ah, it's a bungee, a bunny. Do put the full address in and uh, I'm sure you will then find... The site so i haven't found one that's rotated a benjamin bunny no one's wrote on this one sign didn't put it back into circulation and it doesn't have coin patrols edge description around the outside so the search goes on i'd love to find someone signed coin i'd love to find one with coin patrol written on the outside outside edge and i absolutely would love to find one there's roger off the banister but absolutely love to find one where the uh, the queen's got a wonk on and she's facing the wrong way. They are out there, folks. Paddington at the tower. So we've now got the 2019 Paddington set completed. 
Will we find any of the 2018 set? Who knows? Still no, still no Team GB. So we've got, we're going to tick off another Olympic. And we still await Team GB. Unbelievable. There's another diversity. Ooh, 2016. So this would be nice. This is like a puddle duck. Oh, this could be it. This could be it. This could be it. It is getting there. Nice. I was going to say, watch this be a puddle duck. But no, no, it is the Team GB. Yes. It's finally, it's finally ticked off. Right on cue. Not the cue, obviously. You know what I'm saying. You know where it's at, ladies and gentlemen. Hi everybody, Lady M here from Bungle Collects. So just wanting to let you know, you can become a member of the channel. You can do this via YouTube. You will then have exclusive access to our monthly members live stream where we do some play along games and have some prize draws. And you'll also have access to our exclusive emojis. So get yourself along and become a member. Thank you. I love it. Oh, here we go. Last bag. This is it. 2017. 50 pence on this side. Here's Bunny 3. Oh, it's a bunny, but not the bunny we're looking for. So if you are new or you've been here a while and, and not subscribed, please do subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. Stick a like on the video. Stay tuned. We do twice a week, Lady M and I, coin hunting. I tend to do one a week if I can on my own, if I've got some spare coins. Uh, but yeah, likes and comments and subscribes and turning notification bells on really helps us out. Right, there are two Benjamin Bunnies. I'll be signing them with a Bungle S and putting them into circulation. And I'm declaring that close enough that I am, the in fact, the winner of the um, Benjamin Bunny Challenge because I was close enough, two out of three. I'm two thirds of the way there. Everyone's a winner. Honourable mentions. So you know we're on. We've had a good hunt when when the suffragette is an honourable mention. On any other day, this might be the plum find, but it can't be the plum find because I need these two for the book. So I'm gonna. I might do. I might do these as the thumbnail. Actually, a little bit of a teaser. A little bit of a teaser there. See whether were you enticed by seeing these two coins in the thumbnail? Let me know in the comments. Right, let's uh, let's get these in the book. I'll keep that safe. Thanks again to UK Coin Mad. Big thank to Rich as well. Really appreciate them cards. Can't wait to get them up on the old uh, on the old wall. So now keep them one side to go into circulation. That will be snaffled away into the collection. Let's get the book out. Get your book out, Bungle. It's not in great condition, but who cares? It's one. So many Olympics have I got now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve Olymp, thirteen, fourteen Olympics. So I'm basically halfway there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I'm almost halfway there. Twenty-nine in total. Can you believe a triathlon? Well, they're probably just a triathlon, but I found a triathlon and only just got Team GB. Team GB. And is it weird that this is giving me more satisfaction than a, the finding a 2011 Olympic coin? Is it weird? I don't know. I really felt that I was never going to find that. But in it goes. So how satisfying. There's a full page complete, including an Isaac Newton and a Puddle Duck. Just need a Platinum Jubilee and I have two full pages complete. Tell you what, I'd love to one day complete this page, this front page. <whistles> Anyhow, right, I am all done. Please do like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. Really appreciate you joining me. And thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode.